My name is Guy Mesger, and I'm a professional or ex-professional combat athlete. I'm most known for winning the UFC championship and also the uh, King of Pancrase, which are the, at the time, of the two largest MMA organizations in the world. And I was the champ in both of those. I really was kind of like the forerunner of what the modern MMA fighter is today because I was a high school All-American wrestler. I was a Division II wrestler in college. Uh, I was a national level judo player and uh, I was the number one rated kickboxer at the time and two-time world full contact karate champion. And I was an undefeated boxer. So I had a lot of skills that most of these guys didn't have and I, I had a very high rank. My professional fight career, I had 145 professional fights. And uh, that, that's boxing, kickboxing, full contact karate, and mixed martial arts. I won the UFC championships in 1997, UFC 13. Near the end of my career, you know, I'm in my mid-30s, and uh, I sustained a pretty significant neck injury. It, was, it got so bad that uh, I ended up having to have my neck fused. But when you have your neck fused, the problem with that is that you start getting degenerative neck dis uh, disc disease above and below where the fusion is. Well, the problem with training hard again was it exacerbated the problem with my neck. It, it, it sped up the uh, disintegration. So in my frustration, I started doing some research because that's what I actually am as a medical researcher. I reached out to Dr. Mova. He met with me and he ended up uh, treating me. He ended up doing injections in my neck. Within three weeks, I was training really hard again. Things that would normally have activated the, you know, the, the numbness and activated the pain didn't. That actually sleeping pain stopped within a week. Two weeks, I was physically ready to go. Three weeks, I was training hard. We had a bunch of guest black belts in from Brazil, uh, jiu-jitsu black belts. And they were like, wow, they're like, you know, you, you're really good at this and, you know, you can win the world championships. You should compete in the world championships. <laughs> and, and I kind of laugh and, you know, at 47 years old uh, with uh, a fused neck and, uh, you know, uh, other injuries and stuff. I'm like, ah, eh, probably not a good idea. But my son was there watching and, 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 and uh, I always talk to my son about taking on challenges and he, he looks at me and he goes, Daddy, you, you're the one that told me that a man without challenges grows stale. <laughs> I started laughing. I was like, all right, let, let's see how it goes. I, I had six weeks to get ready. And I trained super intense. You know, and my neck held up the whole entire time, did not have a single symptoms, no numbness, no, you know, no, no real pains in it at all. And I ended up winning the world championships, you know? That was in 2014. And uh, to this day, I haven't had any problems with my neck. I, I, train, um, I train hard almost every day. A man like me cannot sit still. The idea of me sitting on a couch or, or, or doing stuff, of not working out, of not doing stuff, not being active in things, not playing with my children, not being just physical, you know, I'd rather die, to be honest. I mean, because it would kill me slowly anyways. And Dr. Mova, uh, and, and, and the treatment they did, you know, gave, gave me that part of my life back, and I'm, I'm very grateful for it.